Oh, you guys can see me. So I promised, so I'm just gonna go. I promised the other day that I would show one of the groups how to use the Keto Mojo and I'm gonna do it live. So open your Keto Mojo. If you have a Keto Mojo, you pull the tab out of the back. This is the first time I'm using this equipment. Now we're getting somewhere, Nick says. This is the first time I'm using this equipment. I'm at the end of about a 24 hour fast. I'm gonna take plastic off of my thing. There's a delay here, guys. So if you're asking, it's echoing? You're zoomed in too much, move back. There's also an echo. Damn, it's echoing and delayed. Let me watch myself on the phone. Wait, you think it's zoomed in too much? I don't think it's zoomed in too much. You only see my lovely face and hair. Cause I oh my God, that sucks. What am I gonna do about the echo? Turn off the mic. No, the phone's off. Audio capture, turn this one down. We could just do that. How about now? Is it still echoing, lovely people? I promise I won't use any profanity. Echo is gone, you rock. I'm gonna end this and pray to God I can come back and then we'll start over. Super close up. I don't know how to fix that. Is it too close? I think we got it. I can even see what you guys are saying. So I promised a demo of how I use the Keto Mojo and I already started, but we're gonna start over. So first, you pull the tab out of the back you peel the sticker off the front. It'll beep at you. Always use new needle. I have my old one and my new one. So this is for everybody. I was gonna teach you guys this last week in my keto group, but I'm just gonna show everybody. You take the lid off your poker. And I use really technical terms to teach this. You're gonna put a new lancet. No audio coming through. Seriously? Do you all have no audio? Ruth, can you hear me? Oh, audio's working fine, good. Nick, the AV guy. Nick, we could really use your expertise. Nick, the AV guy is saying, go out and come back in. So you put the needle in the device, you twist off the little round top, you put the lid back on. Uh, my fingers are hot, I'm in deep ketosis right now. I'm guessing my GKI is around four. Glucose to ketone index is around four. You crank this on as tight as you can, and then you pull I, if, I'm gonna give everybody time to go get this. If you guys have one of these and you haven't used it yet, if you haven't used, I'm just joking, not. If you haven't used it yet, this is a big stumbling point for people, okay? Get to the point where they buy themselves a Keto Mojo and then they never use it and it sits on the kitchen counter. So they're this out because this is the point where people stall out with me and they don't go any further. So back to what I was saying. You pull it back so you load it. I'm gonna do it, I either do it on my ring, it's just like a glucose meter, Gladys. I'm either gonna push the lateral or the outside part of my ring finger or my middle finger, okay? So I'm gonna pull it back so it's ready to go. So for those of you who are just coming in, I put the lancet in the top. I twisted off the little round tab. I put this back on as tight as possible. This gray dial right here, this determines how deep it goes into your finger. I have thick skin on my fingers, I guess. I like to set it at a five. I know the camera setup is phenomenal. Now, first, I'm gonna do a glucose to ketone index. So, I'm gonna use the brown one. Always make sure you use a new needle. I don't want anybody getting an, inf an infected finger like we talked about the other day with your toes. An infection in your finger, if you're diabetic, can put you in the hospital. It looks like a movie. I know, I think we did good, right, Rich? Okay, the first thing I'm gonna check, you wait for it to beep and then it'll blink at you telling you that it's ready for your blood. So I'm gonna load this, poke the side of my finger. I have a droplet of blood. Here we go. Who wants to take bets on what you think my glucose is? 85, it was 77 a few minutes ago, that's kind of embarrassing, but my glucose is low. Okay, gonna same, going to use, I need to work on my pronunciation, don't I? I'm going to use the same drop of blood. Don't tell me I don't have any. Where's the keto strips? Are you kidding? Did I, no, here it is. So who wants to do the calculation? 85 divided by 18. Who wants to take a guess on what my ketones are? I know what color they are, silly, I couldn't find it. Okay. Who wants to take a guess? 69. It was 85. It was 77 a few minutes ago. But then I got a little, I, you know what? Here's, okay, I never get stressed to go live. Steven, I'm gonna say this. Steven was shocked, my stepson, 
and his friend Ingrid were shocked at how not stressed I was going live because I've done this every freaking day of my life since 2019. However, going live with all of this equipment and camera, even it's a, even though it's in my own studio, is nerve wracking. So I would guess that the reason that my glucose went up a little bit is from the stress, trying to rig this all up, get it going. So my ketones are 0 0.7. So I'm gonna lick my finger, which you should not do. No, I'm just kidding. And I'm gonna calculate my glucose to ketone index. So we're gonna do 85 divided by 18 divided by 0 0.7. So my GKI right now is only six. So that's what stress will do, cause it was like just a little bit ago and it went up due to stress. Should we do a second one? I'm out of strips. Am I fasting? I'm at the end of a 24 hour fast. I don't remember what I ate for dinner last night. No, I'm kidding. I had a hamburger. Okay, so what did I have for dinner last night? I went to Oso and I had the buffalo cheese thing that they have there, no chips. I had guacamole. I had a burger with no bun. I might have had a couple of fries, but I did exercise a lot yesterday. So this morning I was in ketosis. I didn't do a GKI, but my ketones this morning when I got up were 0.8, and then I went and hiked, and I haven't had anything else to eat today. All I've had is some broth, like calorie-less broth, and Ultima. So we'll poke a different finger. I am really bloody today. I must be really well hydrated. I hope everyone who's afraid, I can't tell how many of you are here. Oh, 188 people. I hope, so now I got 0.6. Should we do another one and see how good Keto Mojo is? I hope everyone who's here, who's afraid to check their ketones, I'll just keep doing it until you guys go get your machine and do it. Should we do it again? So that one was 0.6. 90, okay? I'm calculating glucose to ketone index. So 90 divided by 18 by 0.6 is gonna give you a worse number. Is there a link for the things you need to start? I will shit. Ah, oh. you made me curse on a professional video where I was trying not to. Damn it. Okay, that's how it's done. Hopefully that gave some of you the courage or the confidence or the whatever you needed to go get your keto mojo out. I'm gonna save this on this page. Can I just put on a weighted vest? I was gonna go work out more. We tested the setup, setup is working. We tested the keto mojo multiple times. My GKI was better an hour ago, now it sucks. So I guess I'm gonna go work out some more. What is my best program to start out? My, so okay, how the courses are gonna go. I'm doing a ketosis class. The next one I'm planning on starting the day after Christmas. That would be basic if you've never done this before, but I'm thinking about doing like an intro to mitochondria group, like our 45 minute session, just for people who've never heard this information before. Uh, a webinar, here's what mitochondria are, here's how they work, down and dirty, super simple, no technical words. And you could get started with that. And then my next keto group is gonna start the day after Christmas for everybody who's ready for a reset. I'm in, an, <clears throat> I'm in a mitochondrial mastery group right now that's not too late to join. It's in my link tree and we're covering everything from bone density, body composition, why if you pull from those things, like when you take Ozempic, you're also losing brain power too. I'm going to be starting an intro to fasting or a basic fasting one month group. It'll be launched maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. The webinar will be this Sunday and then we'll do light. Brown December to celebrate the you know what and I'm thinking of doing quantum in December again in celebration of Christmas any other questions team it's hard for me to figure out where to look can't wait for the next fasting group dr. hunt why thank you do I sauna when fasting yes I sauna when fasting however that's like a next level skill set don't do that at the beginning thank you for dinner I'm going to be breaking my fast with food from north, which will be mussels, arugula salad with avocado and cheese, and olive oil and lemon. This time I got the fish, basically olive oil and fish, and raw carpaccio. The fasting group's webinar will be Sunday, and we'll probably start it. So this Saturday, the fasting group will start Sunday, or the webinar will be Sunday. I may start the live streaming portion of it 
Thursday or Friday. For the advanced group or the mitochondrial mastery group, I'm going to DexaFit in Tempe this weekend and I'm gonna show you what it looks like, me getting a bone density with body composition, which means muscle, bone, and fat, getting a resting metabolic rate, sitting in the chair for 15 minutes, and also what it looks like to get VO2 max testing done for the people in that group. You're gonna witness me do the whole thing. I don't promise that I have any improvement since last time I did it, because life has been busy and rough, but I'm trying, just like everybody else, I'm trying. Whatever I'm doing, it's working on my hair. I don't have a link up for the fasting group yet. So the way my groups work are, if you're in a current group with me, you get a discount. And the more people sign up who sign up at the discounted price, the lower the price I offer it for everybody else. So once you're in the group, if you're gonna move on to the next group, you get a big discount for the next group. And then the more people who register at that discounted price, if we hit our goals, then we extend a bigger discount to the new people coming in. This is a teamwork makes a dream work effort. What was wrong with my hair? Um, two years ago, my daughter asked me to lighten my hair with her because she's blonde. And all I had was sun in, so I did it. So I had Hashimoto's, I had thinning hair. Then I got my hair back when I fixed the Hashimoto's. I used to have Hashimoto's and now my thyroid antibodies are normal and I'm off medication. Then I used sun in and cracked off all my hair and now it's back. You can, so how long do I stay at a GKI below three? It kind of depends on what I'm trying to do. What are you vacuuming that puts you into ketosis? Are you vacuuming in a weighted vest? My Roomba puts me in ketosis. But here's the thing, for the person who's asking how long do I stay at a low glucose to ketone index, it depends on what you have to fix. I guess it depends on what you have to fix. Okay, this is not medical advice. I'm just showing you how I live my life. And today, I'm showing you my amazing new setup. Oh, it's reminding me. It's right here. So the other thing I'm thinking about doing this Friday is just a one hour, not a group, but a, an advanced webinar on light, lipedema. I think we've tested the new equipment. I think everybody agrees that it's pretty fantastic. And I will post polls in the stories. If you guys want that light webinar Friday, tell me. If you don't, we won't do it. Can undiagnosed celiac cause histamine issues? Absolutely, 100% yes. Or, or another way to say that is they're interchangeable. Hi, Danny. Interchangeable meaning the symptoms are similar and you can't have one without the other. Or when you have one, you get symptoms through the other. Who's interested in your eTech City just came in? That's awesome. Who's interested in a Basics of Mitochondria webinar next Friday? I'll also put up a poll for that one. I haven't done that in a long time. Like talking where I use the teeter-totter analogy and I teach energy over inflammation and we make it so simple for brand new people who've never heard this information before. Okay, great. Nice to meet you all new people. Hopefully this prompted you guys to get your Keto Mojo out and use it. Remember, this is not medical advice. Okay, I guess we have some work to do. Bye.